Hey everybody, Jeff here. Welcome to Scary Tober, uh, a terrible name for a month of scary games. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's October. It's Halloween month, and I wanted to do scary games all month long. So we're gonna be starting out with Silent Hill Two, which you might remember I attempted to stream and it did not go well. So we're gonna be doing it for here for the channel. Uh, we're gonna be doing a new game. I already set up most of the settings, I hope, correctly. So we're going to be doing normal and normal. Like I said, I did attempt to stream this once. You feel feel free to go and watch that. It should still be on the channel. But this is a fresh start. Here we got our boy James. God, look at that. <laughs> Fucking uncanny valley face. Ugh. in bathrooms like this fucking dirty nasty bathrooms why Mary could you really be in this town all right Give me a second. Yeah, tank controls. Okay. Um, apparently, a lot of people had problems getting out of this bathroom because they thought this was a door. I mean, it's not. Uh, I did not, personally. Uh, in addition to when I streamed this, I have played this game once before. Way, way back in late 2005, early 2006. Played it with my college buddies uh, and high school buddies and middle school and elementary school buddies. Uh, David and Stefan in their dorm room during freshman year. A lot of fun. I have not played it except for when I attempted to stream it since then. I forgot. I, I remember a lot of the main beats, but I've forgotten most of the individual scares. So hopefully it will still be pretty scary. Uh, I would explain what's going on, but James is about to do it for us as soon as we walk out here. Oh, look at these PS2 graphics. We are playing this on the PS2, by the way. We're playing the original. We're not playing the, the greatest hits or the HD remaster. We are just playing the flat out original. In my restless dreams, I see that town, Silent Hill. I'm gonna try to not talk during the cutscenes. You promised you'd take me there again someday. alone there now, in our special place, waiting for you. I got a letter. <laughs> the name on the envelope said, Mary. James is a simple man. My wife's name. It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. A dead person can't write a letter. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. Damn disease! So then, why am I looking for her? Good question. Our special place. What could she mean? She means in the butt. This whole town was our special place. Does she mean the park on the lake? We spent the whole day there. Just the two of us, staring at the water. Could Mary really be there? Is she really alive? Waiting for me. All right, do we have control? There we go, we got control again. Okay, so I was saying, I'm gonna try not to talk during the cutscenes, but I am me, 
so we'll see how that goes. Uh, we're playing this on the original PS2. Um, yeah, and I did I did attempt to stream this once, and I had a lot of technical errors, and I decided not to continue. But I love this game. In my opinion, this is probably one of the at least up until probably the release of Resident Evil Seven. This is one of this. Is, this is probably the best survival horror game, in my opinion. And if you get a chance to play it, please play the original. There is an HD re-release for PS3. Uh, I don't consider it the best version to play for a number of reasons. I went into them in the stream and we'll probably get back into them uh, during this playthrough. And I'm sure I'll repeat myself accidentally. But first, we gotta grab this map, which is a very easy thing to miss. And if you miss it, you're fucked for the rest of the game. I got a map of Silent Hill. We got our map. Uh, you might notice some street names and location names similar to places that we saw during the Silent Hill Shattered Memories playthrough. Uh, that is a reimagining of Silent Hill 1, where this is a direct sequel to Silent Hill 1. Even though it's basically, like, the only thing it has in common is the setting of Silent Hill. Uh, Silent Hill 1 dealt with the, the cult that's known as the Order and their attempts to bring about the rebirth of their god. This is the game that started the idea of, like, oh, what is Silent Hill? Silent Hill is, like, this living thing that draws bad people to it. For that. Um... And I've never played the actual original one, but I have played this and I've, I've beaten this and then for a long time it was the only Silent Hill game that I beat. And I've played a little bit of 3 and a little bit of Homecoming. And this is still my favorite. Uh, we find ourselves in this dingy ass, uh, not even a truck stop, it's just a, like a road stop. And we cannot continue on road to Silent Hill. It would be very nice if we could just Go through that section. I assume there is not. On Pleasant River 73 County, but we're gonna have to take that long, windy ass route instead. Uh, there's some incongruities right here. Uh, Paleville is actually considered the northern part of Silent Hill. Paleville exists. It's a neighborhood north of Lake Toluca, and it's where most of Silent Hill 1 takes place. And uh, you'll find that that map closely matches the Silent Hill Shattered Memories map. And it actually, Old Silent Hill, so Hillville is what? What does that say, 10 miles? Old Silent Hill is 50 miles? Old Silent Hill is actually in Paleville. So there's a lot of fucked up shit with these signs right here. But we're gonna we're gonna ignore that and we're just gonna get on the get on the path get on the road let's get going the you can see that up oh, there's Toluca Lake just a quick fun fact you can kind of see the beyond the trees there's the lake and then you can sort of see the the far shore of Lake Toluca and you can see a bit of uh, what is it's it looks like a town it's Paleville it's Old Silent Hill. That's a flat, single image it placed just behind those trees. So there's no, there's no depth there. It's, it's like a matte painting in an old movie. But yeah, I have a deep love of this game. And um, like I said, I played it with my buddies in college, freshman year. I played it in their dorm room. They had a corner room in the North Tower, and uh, they had one little window. Oh God, these camera angles! Camera, they're designed to make you feel uncomfortable, but they <laughs> oh, they really do the trick. Ugh. Uh, played it with them in their dorm room. They had one little window, and we blocked it off with a big ass blanket and played this game all the way through in complete darkness and it is one of the most fun cooperative even though it's a single player cooperative gaming experiences i've ever had so big out big shout out to my friends uh david and stefan 
I have not seen you guys in forever. I uh, hope you're doing good wherever you are. We're gonna follow this dirt trail. And we have our first thing here. We've got our little gazebo. Let's take a look in this well. Oh, what is that? Something in the well. What's that? Looking at this makes me feel like something's groping around inside my skull. Oh, gives me a weird feeling. Those are our save files, those little red pieces of paper. Yeah. <laughs> hey, James. How's it going? So, yeah, we are James Sunderland. Uh, he is in Silent Hill because he got a letter from his dead wife asking him to meet him there. And uh, unlike normal people who would be like, oh, somebody's fucking with me, he's like, okay, let's go. Let's go to Silent Hill. Nope, I don't wish to overwrite. All right. So, we gotta find our way to town. You'll notice, uh, not only is he very bland looking, but the way he speaks is very stilted and bland. And a lot of people, when it originally came out, were like, why Why did they hire such a shitty voice actor? And it's not that they hired a shitty voice actor, that they hired a, an, a voice actor, not only, okay, they modeled the character after how the voice actor actually looks. So that's thing one. Thing two is that they had him play him shitty and stilted and bland because James as a person is stilted and bland and boring. So that's why he sounds like that. It's an intentional choice. And ooh, cemetery. <laughs> Gonna have fun. One of the reasons I'm playing the original as opposed to the HD re-release and trying to get them trophies is because in the HD re-release, even though you can use the original soundtrack, uh, like, well, one, this is the one I own. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Excuse me, I... Oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I oh, was it's just... okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Kind of. Lost? Yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... Yes? I think you'd better stay away. This... Uh... Th this town... There's something wrong with it. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Is it dangerous? Maybe. And it's not just the fog, either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It's just... I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going to town either way. But why? I'm looking for... someone. Who... who, who is it? Someone... very important to me. I'd do anything if I could be with her again. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I, I mean my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but... I can't find them either. I I'm sorry. It's not your no, problem. I... I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. All right, so that was weird, huh? Uh, get ready for a lot of weird character introductions like that. 
what was I saying? Um, we didn't get her name, but she's gonna be a big character. Oh, I was talking about the HD. Okay, so the the voice acting, everything was chosen very carefully for this game. In the HD re-release, they redid the voice acting with new actors, and they got great actors. They got Laura Bailey and Troy Baker, who are phenomenal. But these characters are designed around the original voice actors, and oh god, where, which way do I need to go? I need, oh, I am going entirely the wrong direction. And what's even worse is that if you listen to the new voice cast very carefully, you can hear the original audio dialogue underneath it. It's like a Russian, like when Russians dub over American movies, they don't get rid of any of the original dialogue. They just play Russian voices louder over it. It's just a really shitty oversight. So we're going to be playing this one. Like, there we go. Okay. Right way this time. Uh, please let me know if we have any issues with the capture on this. I Just before we started this, I basically had to redo all of my settings. And it's being a little weird. And I'm not sure what's going on and how to get it back. And I know I'm just using a ton of CPU. So let me know if anything comes up. Because I'm not going to catch it while I'm capturing. So... If I miss anything in the editing process, god damn it, where's the path? That's a lake. We're gonna follow the wall. Oh, oh, tank controls. That's another wall. Come on, where are you? Where are you? Here we go. This is the right way, yes? Damn it! <laughs> okay. All right, so we're going this way instead. Here we go. And yes, we passed the building. Why don't you go into it? We can't. I know we can't get in here. Um, part of the reason that I played. Shattered Memories was that I wanted to play this, but I wanted to... I played through like an hour and a half, two hours of it, and I wanted to get as much as possible. Because like I said, I, re I remember a lot of the main story beats, but the specific scares, not so much. So I wanted to try and refresh my brain. Uh, we'll see how well that worked out, I guess. Can't make any promises. Running through the fog, running through the fog. Got here. Island Hill Ranch. No, no, I don't even want to see what kind of animals you keep in there. Uh, James, I think, can run forever, but if you stop after he's been running... There you go, he pants, which was a big thing at the time. Uh, that was not something the characters did in games. You were, you just basically you had walk or you had run for eternity. This section is so. I, I when I first played through it, I felt it felt way longer, but it still feels pretty long. All right, now we're getting there. Get the fence. our way in town. Um, where are we? We're, I think we're running, yeah, we're, we're running along this little stream, river, what have you. 
uh, on Wilt Zero. A lot of these street names you'll find, and I think some of them are shared with what we saw in Silent Hill, Shattered Memories, even though that area of town, quote unquote, is on the other side of the lake. All of these are named after like famous horror writers. So we've got, uh, uh, do we, do we not? Maybe I'm wrong. That might be in one of the other games. Martin, Saul, Nathan. That might be one of the other games. I could be wrong. I think I am. Keep running. It's weird that they have this path. And then, like, well, shit, we can't see it now, but it's just a drop off into the lake. <laughs> There's like a tiny little ledge down there, and it's just water. It's a weird thing. I don't, I don't know why anyone would ever do that. Hello, wife. We don't have a wife button in this game. We don't have a Cheryl button. Gotta keep going. No shouting out to anybody. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, these tank controls. Oh, okay. Here we go. Town. We found town. Um, and there doesn't seem to be... Well, you know what? Just for shits and giggles, let's go left. Let's see what we can do. I'm positive it's a dead end, but I've never tried going left right away. Oh yeah, that's all dead ends. Okay. Yep. So, an important thing... Yeah, here we go. You can... I to see it right here. Uh, items in this game do not shine. They don't glow. They don't anything. You've got to watch James's head. Oh, wait, can I grab? Can I grab anything yet? Apparently, I can't grab. But he's definitely looking at. You can see he's looking. Oh, I got a first aid kit. Okay, I did get it. Speaking of, that's the map button. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, we don't start this game with an em empty inventory. Uh, there's the, the first aid kit we just picked up. There's a photo of Mary. Let's take a look. There she is. Isn't she pretty? When she was alive. She was so alive when this picture was taken. Uh, and here is the letter, which is basically just what her voiceover was at the beginning. Um, I don't want to open it because... There's a lot of things that affect what ending you get, and I think, I know one of them is like, you can see our status, the window's kind of green. Uh, that means we're in great health. How well we take care of James is a factor of what ending we get. Like if we heal right away or we just let him keep getting beaten up over and over and over. And I think one of them is how often we check these this picture and this letter. So I'm, I, I think, I don't know. I don't want to mess with it too much. Because if I remember when I originally played it, I think I accidentally locked myself into the bad ending just by reading one thing or listening to something. Undid every like not that we were we were we had a walkthrough that we used when we couldn't figure out a puzzle, but that was it. We did everything else just stumbling around in the dark. It took us like two ooh. I'm sure that's fine. That's probably not a thing. No, it's it's um it's Rust. Oh. So, another thing with the HD re-release, the fog layer is not placed right in that version. So it actually shows up behind that monster, which is called a, a lying figure. Uh, so instead of being kind of obscured, it's super obvious. Kind of ruins the moment. So we're going to just... All the blood for whatever reason. Keeping an eye out for James bobbing his head around. I think there's a health pickup along this wall somewhere. 
Oh, watch out. Go around that. Oh, no. Damn you. There we go. I want to follow the wall, but I don't like not being able to see where we're going. Oh, see? See, he's looking at something. There it is. Look at that tiny ass little thing. It's a health drink. I think these are actually based on a health, like a drink in Japan, like a soda bottle or something like a, it's like a five hour energy or whatever, but like it's an actual thing that exists in Japan. Uh, oh, more, more red, mysterious red spots. Not going to say it's blood. Don't know what it is. Oh, okay. So, you see? Yep, he's looking hard over there. You can see we got another save point, so let's... I don't know why this needs to load this little ass area, but it does. So there is a health drink right here. And there is one over here. And Ollie's coming downstairs. Hey, buddy. There's some herbs, or like some little potted plants right here. I think they're potted plants. Um... This game came out, I think this game came out in 2001, well after Resident Evil 1, and I know for a fact that, at the very least during the marketing, they poked fun at Silent Hit, or Resident Evil, being like, oh, you think you're scary? We're really scary. Which I do, I would love to do, I'm gonna play through these. Um, I would love to do a playthrough of all the Resident Evil games. I'm definitely going to do the Resident Evil 1 remaster because coming up in uh, early next year is the Resident Evil 2 remaster. So I'm going to definitely do those two. And at some point, I would like to work my way all the way up to 7. But, I mean, we'll have to see. I'll have to figure out. I'm still playing around. The, the recording times worked really well for Detroit, the new ones where it's the half hour episodes. But I'm going to be playing around with them. I want to find... I just want this to be feasible. I want to keep a steady schedule. Because I want to entertain. Alright, so we saved our game. We're going to head back out. Reload the screen. Foot step, foot step. Oh, whoa! That was a long-ass drive. Where are we? We are heading up uh, Dockus, Docks Road, I think it's called. Uh, there's no way to change the camera in this version. I think in the Game of the Year and the HD Remaster you can, but there's no way to do it here. Well, actually, you know what? Let me, let me double check that. Type 3D position. No, that's not that definitely not what I want. Also, please let me know. I tried to pre-adjust the brightness level. Um because I did do an earlier attempt at recording this, and while I could see it fine on the TV, the it was just way off. So Alright, no, we can't do anything. Just continue onwards. Following that mystery blood path. There we go. That has disappeared. Oh. <laughs> Yay, the camera's back to where I hate it. And you know, for a PS2 game, like graphically, this does not look bad even now. Like if I remember, Silent Hill 3 really pushed what the console was capable of. And it just looks, like even today, it looks really good. We, oh, we're hearing that sound. Ooh, what is that? I, I don't know, I'm gonna, you know what, fuck it, I'll check it out. I'm sure everything's fine. It, it sounds like it's coming from in here, maybe. 
Uh, let me just crawl through. This tunnel doesn't look foreboding. Let me just take a look. If you look closely, you can see the lying figure over there. Crouched and doing God knows what. But Harry's more interested in this broken ass radio. Harry. James. Sorry. That's gonna be a top. Oh! Hello. Hello. And in response, James is gonna break off a piece of wood. And now, oh shit, I have to remember how the combat works. Oh, there we go. Spank him. Spank him. There we is go. It dead. What the hell is it? Right? It's not it's a <laughs> the fucking sound design in this game is phenomenal. It might be the scariest <laughs> thing about it, in my opinion. Um, a note about the enemies. Like I said, that was a lion figure. We'll see a bunch of them. Uh, in the first Silent Hill game, not Shattered Memories. Shattered Memories, the, the raw shocks were a completely different thing. But in the first Silent Hill, all the memories were, all the enemies were based on the things that Alessa is afraid of. So it's like monster dogs and you know, boogeyman and things like that. This game, all the enemies are based off of the shit that's floating around in James's brain. Which I don't want to get into too much. I'll talk a little bit about what I know about them, but it's very easy to spoil things. Oh yeah. This thing I just picked up. Broken Is that broken? Come. Umi. Sweaty balls. What the? Public broadcasting. I'd better take it anyway. Why? I might need it. So there's no reason for him to actually take it, but... That radio is gonna let us know when there's monsters around. It's gonna start crackling like a mofo. So now we have our early warning system. Oh, look at that, he leaves blood prints because he walked through the pool of blood left by the thing he killed. Um, we have our early warning system and we have our <coughs> weapon, which remind me that R2 readies it. Is there a, there's a, is there a sidestep? Oh, what is, oh hell, there is a way to, Control the camera, kind of ish. Oh, that's good. That might make things easier. Okay. Um, there's our sidestep. R1 and L1 sidestep. R2 ready's combat. And L2 is the camera. Okay, cool. Making progress. Where's run? Triangles map. Circle seems to do nothing, and X is our interact. So when I played through this on the stream, which you can still see, like I mentioned, I did not take it down. I think, but it's, it might be kind of sh like quality-wise, kind of crappy. Um, I fought a lot of the monsters. I'm gonna try to avoid that, because we don't need to. I'll be honest. I did a, a did a little bit of a like after that. A little bit of reading and spoil anything just like some basic pointers for the game because it like i said i played this game over 12 years ago so uh i believe there is penalty to saving too many times but we're just gonna do it Now, there's a couple things we need to find. One of them, though, is we need to find a trailer. We need to go to the bar, right there, Neely's bar, and we need to find a trailer or like a, a mobile home. I think it might be on Saul Street. Also, Martin Street will have something important, too. But let's head towards Saul. Okay, 
you should be able to start. Yep, you can hear the you can hear the noise. It's gonna be ah, uh, there it is. Oop, watch out. Okay, so you see he just tried to vomit on us. Um, the lying figures represent James's wife Mary at the end of her life. Um, they're meant to represent a sick person or a person in like a straight jacket uh, who is very very ill, hence the vomiting. Uh, at the end of her life, uh, her sickness uh, was kind of making her more and more crazy and ill. She started to get verbally violent uh, with James. And so that's what the like the vomit that injures you is like representative of what came out of her mouth. They're also meant to represent, like they're meant to look kind of slick and gross. Like I believe the developers were going for li literally the texture of a condom. So. You can tell where this game is going, if that's one of the themes it's trying to get at. So we're gonna keep heading down Lindsay. Oh, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me though. Yeah. And we should be able to keep going, go left on Sanders. Right, I guess it'll be right for us. Get some more blood. Actually, where does that go? I wonder. Oh no, that's the one. Okay, never mind. That's what we originally followed. Also, I'm gonna have to remind myself. These big red dots on the map, uh, not a point of interest necessarily. That's just there's a save point there. I'm gonna have to keep that in mind and not constantly head back to Box Road. Ooh, it's, <laughs> like I said, the fucking sound design is just phenomenal. What was the, what was the, uh, there we go. Oop, goodbye. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone! Alright, like I said, we need to find that trailer. And I have no idea if I'm going the right way, I just remember to do that from the point of the Fuck, ugh. We at the end? Shit, we are. Okay, let's. Saul! Yeah, no, we want Saul. I'm sure there's a ton of things on the sides of the road that we could be picking up. But I want to avoid... Oh, okay. No. <laughs> we did not go the right way. Oh, shit, no. Okay, so now we know that's blocked off. And we are, might still be going the right way. Get away! Get away! I don't think I ever found this in the original playthrough. It's something I found like when I attempted to replay the game later on. I gave this game one or two other attempts after I beat it back in freshman year of college, and I never got very far. And I completely believe it's because I didn't have two friends in the room playing with me. All right, so we're in this dingy ass trailer. And first we have this. There's a memo lying on the sofa. I'll wait at bar Neely's. So we're going to mark Neely's bar on our map. Um, I don't know if it's in this version, but I know in the HD re-release and the, like the, the greatest hits version, uh, the game has a new game plus, and there is a special weapon you can pick up here in the new game plus. It's like a, it's like a pepper spray or something, but there's different versions of it depending on how you did during your first playthrough, I think is how it works. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna save our game though. And I think we're gonna stick with the four save rule. So we haven't done much since the parking lot, so I'm just gonna save over that parking lot file. And there we go. 
And you know what? We are. I'm gonna make these a little longer because I'm not quite sure how long it's gonna take to get through this. So instead of the like the roughly 30, we're gonna go for roughly 40 minutes. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope you enjoy Scary Tober, a name that I'm definitely gonna have to workshop. Uh, I don't think this game will finish the month, so we'll have to come up with some uh, some suggestions. If you are enjoying it, feel free to leave a like. Let your friends know about it. Share it. Uh, you can always subscribe. Uh, get more of this fun action, and I'm working on streaming more. We're gonna, we should be doing Shadow of the Tomb Raider by now, and I should be doing that two or three times a week. I don't know what days yet, so feel free to tune in on that. It should just be twitchcom Jeffrey. Not hard to find. Same as my YouTube channel, essentially. So please enjoy this game with me. Thank you for coming along. Uh, you being here is gonna be a big part of me getting through it because I am a big chicken shit. So. That being said, I'll catch you guys later. Watch out,